and welcome back to Fetch Columbus on Ola TV. Here today we have the exclusive story of Oscar, a puppy that was thrown into a dumpster at just two months of age. A heartbreaking story quickly turned heartwarming through partnerships made possible from Dr. Dice, Pet Promise, and Rasco Animal Hospital. Today we're here with Pet Promise who played such a huge part in Oscar's rescue. Here to tell us all about it today is Kelly, Amanda, and Amy from Pet Promise. Tell us, how is Oscar doing? Give us a quick update. Oscar is doing really well. Uh, Dr. Dice has said that the surgery was a success so far. You know, we're very fortunate to have some really incredible fosters. One of our fosters is a teacher at Avondale School. They had a police officer there that day speaking to the children, and a good Sam, a neighbor, saw somebody throw Oscar into a dumpster, or rather heard it and saw the car drive off. So the police officer was there, and our foster was there, and she contacted me. And so we had him go to our friends at Rascal Animal Hospital. They treated him. He had two uh, fractures in each of his paws. And the foster, she was able to take him for splinting and his other medical needs. After a couple of months of him healing, we noticed that he had a more severe angular limb deformity going on in his leg that we knew was going to be surgical. We're here with Dr. Dice, who is one of the top orthopedic surgeons in the nation. Dr. Dice, you played a huge role in you know, saving Oscar and making sure you know he's good to go as far as the surgery. Can you tell us how he came to you and what problem he had? Sure, he was brought in by um, Dr. Gonzalez from uh, Rasco unit. And at the time uh, that we first saw him, he had quite a severe deviation of the lower leg. And what happened in Oscar's case was he had severe damage to what's called the growth plate, which is the region of growth in the lower leg. And so because the growth plate was damaged, the leg did not grow straight, and that turned the foot around. And so when we saw him, he had about a 35 to 40 degree external deviation of the foot and that was caused by trauma to that growth plate and that probably happened at the same time that he also had uh, the fractures in the foot. He has a metal plate and screws now in the leg and that's how you saw him this morning after surgery and we can see the two cuts, one in the ulna here just to release uh, the tension in the ulna bone and then the cut level here where we removed a small segment of the radius. The alignment as you can see much better uh, in both views uh, and this is very important because the quality of function that he's going to have and comfort in the long term is primarily determined by how well aligned he is. Well thank you so much Dr. Dice you know for all you did for Oscar and all you continue to do for the animals all around Columbus. Now before we leave can you tell us a little bit about what other opportunities are available at the Ohio State College of Veterinary Medicine? Sure I think one of the things that's very important to realize is that Although we function as a specialty referral hospital and we draw uh, clients from all over the US, uh, our primary mission here is as a teaching hospital. And so year by year we graduate uh, a class of about 150 veterinary students uh, who will become your veterinarian um, in time. It's very important that we maintain good working relationships uh, with our referring veterinarians to improve the overall quality of care that the, uh, uh, that the client receives and that the, uh, that the patient receives. So we have, we sort of wear a number of different hats on you know, various days where teacher, surgeon, uh, an educator, and uh, um, you know, it's always uh, an interesting job. Very rarely are two days the same. Yeah. If someone was interested in getting involved and you know contacting you guys, how do we do that? For clients or potential clients or people who are concerned about um, health issues uh, in their dogs, uh, your first port of call is your referring veterinarian. So your primary care veterinarian uh, is going to be the one that also always you should deal with initially. For um, referral cases, in other words, if your veterinarian does not have uh, the expertise or the equipment or uh, the training to be able to uh, address a particular problem, uh, they may refer you here and so you'd be referred to uh, an appropriate um, medical service. In, in Oscar's case obviously he came to the orthopedic department but there are many other services including internal medicine, dermatology, cardiology, cancer care uh, that we have here uh, and that we have experts in. 
can you tell us a little bit about what other services that you guys offer and um, you know how else you guys give back? We also have a pet food pantry. It's the Pet Promise Pet Food Pantry. And what that is is a program that assists with uh, people who are maybe struggling economically and need some assistance with feeding their pets for a temporary period of time. What can we do as a public, Amanda, to you know kind of give back to Pet Promise and assist you guys in the rescuing of animals in Columbus? Well, um, we always need foster homes, um, but we what we need right now, in addition to that, is people with uh, professional skills. Um, so we could use a social media um, manager, uh, public relations expert. People can come to us and let us know kind of what they do and we can find a place for them. Well you heard at Columbus Pet Promise, a great organization that definitely gives back to the community. You can find them on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at Pet Promise. Be sure to visit them and give them a like. What a beautiful ending to an otherwise heartbreaking story. Again, all made possible through partnerships with Brasco Animal Hospital, the OSU Veterinary Medical Center, and Pet Promise. And for those that require extra special medical attention such as Oscar, the medical bills do tend to add up. If you're interested in helping support the mission of Pet Promise, you can visit their website at www.petpromise.org and click the donate button on the upper right hand corner of the page. It is greatly appreciated. Stay tuned next week as we fetch what's next in Columbus. Thank you so much again, Dr. Dice, the staff, and the students at the OSU College of Vet Medicine. That was such a great time. Thank you again. Absolutely. And a huge thanks as well to Rasco Animal Hospital and Pet Promise for connecting Oscar with the help that he needed. Such a happy ending. I'm so happy for Oscar. Thank you guys so much again. Stop it too.